Hey everybody, today I'm working on a 2016 Isuzu NPR and I'm going to jump straight into showing you how to remove these rear brake pads. I'm going to give you a quick rundown to show you everything I'm talking about and then we'll go through a brief tutorial on how to get the pads off. Alright, so for this removal there's four springs we're going to be dealing with. There's one here on the top. There's actually a hat, a pin, a spring, and then another hat to keep in the spring in between the two uh, retainer buckets and that's going to be one spring the other spring is going to be on the outside of the top and the bottom shoe right here and it comes down to here and goes all the way up to the top here in between the uh, wheel cylinder and it pretty much mirrors it on this other side you can see the edge of it right here i'll move the camera over in just a second and that one's going to be on the back side of the pad so there's going to be one spring on the front side of the two shoes and one spring on the back side so there's one two three springs and then it pretty much mirrors this spring on the bottom shoe so i moved my camera over to show you this other spring i know it's kind of bad quality it's super dark back in here but the spring is right here on the back side of the pads if you look closely, you can see where it hooks into the little slot in the brake shoe. So the two main tools you're gonna need for this repair are your hands with gloves and, uh, or no gloves. You can smash your finger and wish you had worn gloves. Um, the next tool is, uh, a lot of people like getting those fancy snap-on tools. I'm also one of those people that likes those fancy snap-on tools. I'm going to put a link in the description for this. The part number is actually BST12G. It's an uh, Isuzu uh, medium-duty truck. Uh, it says on the package that UPS trucks, FedEx trucks can also, uh, you can utilize this tool. But this is a handy thing snap-ons made to fit right in behind here. You gotta weasel this thing in here like that and then what it does is it uses the face of the hub which is typically in your way to pry against hopefully y'all can see that again sorry about the lighting and then all you have to do is reach in behind here through the backing plate get the pin lined up with this with the groove easy as that your first spring is off let me pull all this out so i can show you better what i actually did so the spring sits in there like that through the backing plate if y'all can see that and it locks like this and then when you put that tool on it you can compress this spring turn your pin for through the backing plate and remove your top bucket and the rest will just fall out so there's your first spring you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom like I told you that that spring mirrors itself on the bottom you can see the corner of this shoe sorry for the shakiness sets in the middle of that wheel cylinder right there the bottom shoe sets in the middle of the bottom of the wheel cylinder underneath this adjuster right here that spring i was talking about on the bottom Is going to go through the backing plate through this hole so once you get your two springs off and you figure out where your shoes have to come off of which on this right side it's got to come out of this groove on top and this groove on the bottom so you're basically going to grab either side of the shoe right here and you're going to pull up and step it off okay this whole process taking them off putting them back on is relatively the same you're just gonna 
be slow with it. When you get in a hurry, that's when you smash your fingers, and that's why I have gloves on. So, you're gonna come over here to your other side, and you're gonna grab it and do the exact same thing you did right here. Okay, now you have both your top shoes out of the notches where they rest. Then you're gonna come back to your first one. This is where you can smash your fingers really bad. I grab on the back side of this shoe and the front right here, and I set it down off of that. Like I said, it's a walking process. Be slow, take your time, and come back to your other side. Set it down. So now your top's basically all the way off. And you're gonna come to your bottom and you're gonna do the exact same thing. See, your third spring's already out. And you should be able to just grab both sides of your shoes. Just wiggle them free. I really hope that helped somebody. Um, if y'all don't care, hit that subscribe button and have a great day.